My friend Pamela from Ganazadage told me about a youth exchange between 12 youth from her community and 12 Innu youth who live in La Romaine. We recently went to meet with some of the kids and Tess Lalonde, the coordinator. We also asked Wanda Gabriel and Pamela to speak to the importance of such an initiative. Here's some of what they all had to say. This kind of youth exchange, it's really important part of decolonizing because the methods of colonization that were used, um, it attacked culture, it attacked spirituality, it attacked language, it attacked identity. So as much as those methods were used to colonize and assimilate us, we need to use those same methods to restore and revitalize and reclaim and decolonize. So as much effort that was put into taking away our culture, that's how much effort has to be put in to restore our culture. If we're still in a place of colonial mindset, that means our youth are not getting the teachings on culture. And so there's identity confusion for the youth. Mm -hmm. So these exchange programs are really about lifting up our culture, lifting up our youth, and rebuilding relationship and rebuilding spirit. Mm -hmm. Nice, you know, that when we go over there, it's limited, it's just this, they have, and mm -hmm. it, I think it would be good for them to see what they have. It'll give our students a good idea of what it is to be isolated. It's important for the youth to, to be able to represent our nation, like what is it to be Mohawk, like how do we share our culture with other people, um, and so for me, I see the youth exchange as being important for identity rebuilding, right? Like, so with colonization, we have a lot of identity shame or cultural shame or cultural confusion. And so by allowing the youth to, to meet each other, to build a relationship, we're helping them to know who they are, who other nations are, what the differences are in the communities and, and, and the different places we are all at. Some are isolated, some are urban. So like, and how do you feel, Pam, as a mom whose kid might be involved? Uh, I think it's great. I think it's great that, first of all, we have an opportunity in the community, right? Because as we know, the youth tend to, with, with a lot of the chaos and things happening, uh, particularly in Ganesadonga, there's there's not a lot of cultural stuff happening. You know, youth tend to kind of be the, the last ones on the list, right? Like, really, like, I was so excited when Tess told me and she told me, like, Alex is invited to go. And I think it's great because it gives my son and, and his friends a chance to to get out of the classroom, to get out of like Ganesadage, funk, and 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 meet other youth who have their own community experience. Like it's just it's just good. They're going to be in another community with another nation, and they're going to be ambassadors for the Mohawk Nation of Ganesadage. And being ambassadors, they're going to have to know something about them, about their community, about themselves, and what that will do. I, in from my experience with other youth exchanges, it instills pride in who you are. Because you're not going to go talk about you're not going to talk about the crappy stuff, right? You're going to talk about the good stuff, and so it lifts the spirit. It brings pride to 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 who they are and where they come from.